From a golf course to a park, some Seminole County golf courses are about to change hands. Fox 35's Lara Greenberg joins us live tonight with this story. Good evening, Lara. Good evening, Luann and John. Yeah, Seminole County looking to buy two different golf courses, the Country Club at Deer Run in Castleberry and Wakiva Golf Club. You don't have to worry about Wakiva Golf Club. It is going to stay a course. You can still wear your golf shirts here, but the other one that has a new future in store. Beyond the creepy brush at the former Deer Run Country Club lay dozens of acres of land, land that Seminole County commissioners are looking to turn into a park. Good news for those who live nearby. As opposed to having a developer come in, um, this is an opportunity for the people not only just in Deer Run, but also just in Seminole County to have an extra uh, extra space for recreation, for, uh, for gathering. I think it's amazing. There were signs of worry. Neighbors say they were concerned current owners would develop the land with housing. They were talking about putting a lot of housing in that would have really tied up traffic getting in, out, in and out of the neighborhood. We walk every day, sometimes twice a day, and we were hoping that they put like some trails in here. Trails are part of the county's plan, as well as pickleball courts and a fishing pier. A nice facelift after Deer Run closed two years ago. Uh, but I didn't realize they were in a position of, of, of actually closing until surprise <laughs> it just happened. Commissioners say Wakiva would remain a golf course since the nearly 50 year old links are still active and turning a profit. And again, it's not a done deal yet, but the county is moving forward with these plans and they do expect it to cost about $14 million to purchase both properties. Live tonight in Wakiva Springs, Lyra Greenberg, Fox 35 News.